hey guys welcome back to my channel and obviously i'm back with another pick a card so judging by the title of course we're going to be asking ourselves how do they feel about me so three pals of course pal one pal two pal three or a b and c right okay so with pal a or one we have the herkimer diamond I love this stone. It's really good for intuition, clarity. It works just like a clear quartz, but it's a little bit more psychic if you ask me. So it's very intuitive stone. It helps you with your crown chakra and uh, tapping into the celestial uh, realms. And also, of course, everyone's other psychic stone we have for Pal 2 or B is the amethyst amethyst is also a very highly spiritual intuitive stone it helps you to tap into your crown chakra and your third eye um, again it's very good for spiritual protection helping you to sleep better with your dreams dream recall i can talk all day about amethyst so pal three with the apophyllite let's see if my camera is yeah oh yeah so this apophyllite with stilbite, um, I love this stone as well for your crown chakra. Um, it's also great for tapping into deep meditations, um, astral projection. It works a lot like um, Herkimer Diamond as well. So I chose all three psychic stones. So if you're watching this, you're possibly really intuitive yourself. I wasn't even thinking that like these stones all work really well for deep intuition, deep meditation, things like that. So I'm going to get started with Pau 1, which is Herkimer Diamond. How do they feel about you? So Pau 1, Herkimer Diamond. Crown chakra energy you could be just needing a little bit of clarity or you need to cleanse your crown chakra or just cleanse your energy space so how do they feel about you pal one and i'm going to read all of these upright but i think i did also see the knight of swords jump out when i was picking cards like i didn't i don't see any of these cards before um i pull but I did see that one flip out. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of if I've seen any other cards, but like I said, I don't see them until I flip them over with you guys. But I do remember seeing the Knight of Swords, and um, I think there was a, a channel message that jumped out as well. So I have a few cards here and the channel message. So positive move forward, Temperance, Ten of Wands, the Sun. And this connection has made me uncomfortable. So, how do they feel about you? I feel like someone definitely feels like maybe this connection is moving forward in a positive way. Um, someone could definitely be maybe moving away from you. Maybe they feel like you're a good mom. They could feel like um, you're beautiful. Um, I feel like maybe they feel like you could be carrying a lot of burdens or they could be carrying a lot of burdens. Maybe they feel like something within your connection has made them uncomfortable. Maybe because you've moved away or they've moved away. Um, I feel like this person maybe possibly likes how you do your uh, hair, your nails, your feet as well. If you're a guy... I feel like this person like likes how like you, you just seem like really chill um you possibly are a hard worker you have like nice boots or something like that could be a good dad as well um you could be really fiery as well like Someone could be like, uh, there's a lot of fire energy here. So you could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But someone feels like you're you're balanced, you're an angel. Maybe this connection has made them a bit uncomfortable. 
I'm gonna like get a little clarity to see why what's going on. How did how do you how does this person feel about Paul one? How does this person feel about the person they choose? So maybe you speak of a sharp communication. Maybe you give this person a lot of ideas. Maybe you um you bring clarity to this person. Maybe literally you're like the sun to this person. They're happy to see you. You're abundant. You're beautiful. Um. You're like a ray of fucking sunshine. Like, it's like that type of sunshine, you know? You gotta say the F word with it. But, um, how does this person feel about Paul 1? Maybe they feel like they regret something in the past, or they feel like they feel guilty about something here. Maybe they feel like you've been juggling or trying to balance something out here. Um, they feel like maybe they want to apologize or maybe send you a message or give you some type of clarity or communicate here with you. How does this person feel about Paul 1? How does this person feel about Paul 1? They feel like they have like nostalgia with about you. They feel like there's someone from their past. Maybe someone they have a lot of memories with. Maybe they feel like you're like a soulmate. Maybe they regret something from the past here as well. Maybe they regret not sending you a message or apologizing here. Maybe you've given them some type of clarity or idea. Maybe this person has been juggling or you've been juggling. Uh, maybe working as well. But yeah. Um, overall, I'm seeing this person sees you in a positive light. Maybe something about your connection has made them a bit uncomfortable here. Maybe you feel like home to this person. You feel like harmony and balance. Yeah. I feel like this person sees you in a positive light, though. Overall energy. Like, um, like maybe there could be a new beginning between you two. So, Pile 1, I hope that resonated with you. And that was super dope. Um, but check another pile if it didn't resonate with you um or you can check out my other readings or my readings in the future but thanks for watching okay pile number two thanks for watching and waiting patiently um let's see how your person feels about you and i'm going to read all of these upright i'm trying to see and remember if any cards jumped out for you i can't think and remember how did your person feel about you, pal, too? Ooh, it's gonna be good. Ooh. So, huh. All right. How does your person feel about you? Maybe they feel like you've been patiently growing something here, patiently waiting for something, maybe waiting for some type of cycle to end. Maybe you've been trying to build your business here or uh, grow your hair. And you've been patient you've been growing spiritually here you've been, you've been evolving maybe you've been patiently waiting to make some type of choice or decision maybe this person i feel like this person sees you as very logical smart uh you could be a libra gemini definitely a gemini energy you could have had the gemini in your chart you could be a libra gemini aquarius you could definitely be a pisces with the world card here because when I see the world card, I think about the end of the cycle, right? And Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. So, I also think of a, a little bit of Aquarian energy as well. But, so, you could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and definitely a Pisces. But, I feel like this person feels like maybe you are possibly intuitive. You could be tapped into the universe. You could be really into the world or worldly things. You could be really into nature. Um, I feel like this person feels like maybe you could be a little emotionally detached. Um, just smart. Um, you know a lot about maybe the world. Um, maybe about nature, planting seeds, growing things, um, herbs. You could definitely be a unique dresser or you switch up your style a lot here. Especially if you're a Gemini. Gemini's 
definitely know how to switch it off a lot. They're mutable, of course. Uh, mutable zodiac signs, so they do switch up their style. Their <clears throat> energy switches up a, a lot as well. Same thing as Pisces. Pisces is also a mutable sign. So you could be definitely, um, especially with this birthstone here, people born in February are Aquarius and Pisces energy. So uh, that could be a birthstone as well. Um, I know it's mine, but this person definitely sees you as possibly mutable. You change up a lot. Um, you're patient. You're growing something here. You're nurturing something. Something's growing for you. It could be different with your hair, the way you dress, the way this person possibly likes your um, your smile. Someone likes maybe that you're mysterious. Um... Maybe they like your legs, the way that you dress, the way that you stand out, maybe in front of the world. But yeah, let's see. This connection is more that like a lesson than a blessing. So this is the channel message. So maybe you probably encountered this person just to give you... And what connection isn't? You feel me? Like everybody is usually a soulmate. Your mom, your brother, your sister, your cousin, that guy that you just met, that girl that you just met. Um, it's all usually lessons and blessings in disguise. So let's get more clarity on how this person feels about you, pal, too. Or amethyst pile. How does this person feel about amethyst pile? Ooh. The ace of cups. So this person possibly is really emotionally um, interested in you. Maybe, again, they possibly could feel like maybe they regret something in the past. Maybe they regret ending some, some, some type of cycle they feel guilty about something. If this person is in love with you, they see you as a new beginning. They're trying to be patient about nurturing a new beginning with you. Um, someone's trying to be patient about having some type of new emotional satisfaction here. Um, someone could feel like also that they maybe possibly missed out on uh, ending a cycle. Someone could feel like that you're guarded a little bit. I think I did see that jump out when I was shuffling. Um, someone could feel like maybe you're guarded and you trying to you're trying to make a choice in, in secret again. Look, the nine of wands. Someone feels like you're possibly guarded in taking action or making a choice, or they could be guarded on taking action and making a choice. But I feel like someone just feels like you're passionate, you're creative, you're driven. Um, you could be in and out of this person's energy field or, or physically, you know, you could be in and out. This person could just be in and out of your life just to kind of like uh, teach you a lesson or help you to grow here as well. Because I feel like you should be focusing on this new beginning that you have here when it comes to your finances, your home. This could be your business as well. Um, just focus on this new beginning here. When it comes to like something emotionally satisfying, definitely here. Very positive energy. You could be getting like really positive communication coming in as well. But I feel like this person feels like, again, you're really smart. Or they could be really smart. Um, you're very logical, a clear communicator. I feel like maybe this person feels like you've had your heart broken here. Um, you could be a little indecisive. But overall, I feel like this person thinks you're... You're beautiful and very patient with them, and um, you 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 make decisions very slow and you're strategic. Here, a uh, good communicator as well. So, uh, pal two, that is all I'm getting for you. I hope that resonated with you, and you can also watch another pile or share this with your friends, your family, if you know this sounds like their situation. But um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So, Pal 3, welcome back, and thanks for choosing this lovely piece of Apophyllite. It's so beautiful. Okay, and if you chose the Apophyllite, this reading is for you. I'm going to read all of these upright my way. How does this person feel about you? Pile 3, or Pal C. Okay, and I also have a channel message here. So do something nice 
for yourself this week. Treat yourself. Self-care first. So Spirit definitely wants you to know that you need to focus more on yourself right now rather than how this person feels about you. Um, for sure. Do something nice for yourself. Maybe go get yourself uh, a manicure or a facial, um, a pedicure. You can just do this at home. I love doing my own facials at home. Um, go shopping. Buy yourself something nice here. You know, treat yourself to dinner or lunch. You know, instead of focusing on how this person feels. But let's give you your answer. How does this person feel about you? So this person with the third eye chakra, I feel like this person possibly feels like you're very intuitive. Um, you could dress like really hippie or boho or like gypsy style. This person possibly likes your bags, your purses that you carry. Again, you could put emphasis on how you dress. It could be really unique, different. It stands out. Maybe this person likes that you are competitive. Um, maybe this person likes that you have competition or there's people, other people that want your attention. I feel like this person possibly likes the way that you dance. If you dance, or if this person ever seen you dance, this person could love the way that you move, or the way that you, uh, I just heard hair, or something like that. So this person could love your hair as well. But yeah, maybe you are a good listener. Um, Again, something about the way that you dress. Maybe you make your own clothes or something like that. This person could definitely maybe like the way that you walk or something about the way that you move. Your hair. Um, this person could like that you are very intuitive with the high priestess hair and the third eye chakra. This person could like that you are mysterious. Um, that you're into like this universe stars the galaxy you know secret information that you like the occult here um this person could possibly like that you are that you do do nice things for yourself that you take care of yourself that you're into self-care that you treat yourself to things but i'm going to get more clarity guys on how three um apophyllite how does their person feel about them so I had something jump out. So how does your person feel about you, Palpatine? How does your person feel about you? They think that you're the Queen of Cups. Again, it goes hand in hand with this um, High Priestess and the Third Eye Chakra. This person thinks that you're very psychic, that you're very intuitive. Again, all the stones that I chose were very intuitive stones, and Apophyllite is possibly, with the Stovite, is definitely up there in the realm of very intuitive, very, very, very deep stone to work with when it comes to intuition. So this person possibly feels like you're very psychic, you're very intuitive, um, you're very nurturing, you're possibly very kind. Um, maybe this person feels like you have a bunch of jokers around you, or maybe some type of like young energy. Um, Maybe it feels like that you're possibly very charming, creative, passionate, or you could have some type of masculine energy that around you that is uh, charming, creative, passionate, very attractive man around you that's watching you, following you around here. Or maybe um, this person possibly likes the fact that you have other suitors or yeah, other people that are in and out of your life or that likes you or maybe this person likes that you're their secret lover or something like that. And this person could definitely have a secret crush on you as well with this high priestess. Um, this person thinks that you intuitively know already. I feel like this person is being deceptive. This person feels like someone has a secret here, especially with the high priestess now the seven of swords. Someone could be hiding something, could be uh, being a fool, being a joker, making some type of joke or lie up here behind your back as well. But yeah, I feel like someone knows thinks knows that you are intuitive and that you'll you'll see right through whatever is going on. But I feel like even if this person has a secret uh, crush on you. Or this person knows that you know or something like that. 
this person definitely likes that you're competitive. I definitely would say all piles had the Five of Cups show up. So watch all three piles. Um, I'm pretty sure that maybe someone already possibly did that. But there's possibly a lot of regret and guilt <clears throat> here. And someone possibly feels really sad. And maybe someone could also have a blockage in their throat chakra as well. But um, that's all I'm pretty much getting. Uh, pile three. Apophilite pile. Say that three times fast. Apophilite pile. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope that resonated with you. And if not, you can always watch another pile or check back to my future readings. Um, again, share with your friends and your family. But again, thanks for watching. Peace.